Many of us have heard the term men are losers. And to be honest, there is some truth to this. There is a growing number of men who are losing in education, employment, finance, marriage, and spirituality. So today I want to address this subject and provide seven reasons why men are losers and what men can do about it. Number one, men are losers because they are not submissive. Most men think that the word submission is a word for women to learn in practice. Some men are actually hypocrites because men want their wives and children to obey their rules, but they will not obey those in authority over them. Many boys and young men do not obey their fathers who are at home with them. Many boys and young men refuse to obey their single mothers who birthed them, fed them, clothed them, and did not abandon them. She may not be perfect, but she is not always wrong with the rules she established for her sons. And yet there are many young boys who ignore their own mother. Why can't I go to the movies? Because for one, I said so. And for two, I don't want you hanging out with those guys. They're not the crowd for you. Man, you're so annoying. I hate you. You're so annoying, God. Hey, get back here. Get back here. Who are you talking to? Boys who ignore their parents are at a higher risk to not obey teachers at school. When you do not obey the teachers, then you sabotage the knowledge transfer. And as a result, you will not grow in knowledge and hence you will lose at education. Men who lose at education will have a hard time winning in the workplace and will be at greater risk of unemployment, poverty, and inadequate health care. Some men refuse to obey the proper rules of government, and I know that government is not perfect, but there are some laws that are beneficial to the well-being of its citizens which should be obeyed. Men who disobey government most likely will go to jail and have a prison record that will have a negative impact on their employment and make them more of a loser than they are today. Some men refuse to obey the counsel of other good men such as the clergy, other husbands and fathers, their uncle, their brother, and other community leaders. In order to win, brothers, you must learn how to submit. You must learn how to submit to your parents, your boss, the government, godly counselors, and to Jehovah God. Number two, men are losers because they make sexually emotional decisions rather than rational decisions. Sexually emotional decisions are decisions that bring sexual gratification. Men and boys who lack self-control and discipline will normally place their sexual gratification over things that are beneficial for their life. They place sex over marriage, sex over education, sex over spirituality, and sex over financial stability. Having a one-night stand is a sexually emotional decision. Having sex with a slut, cheating on your wife, having sex with your girlfriend, watching porn, going to a strip club, watching movies that contain nudity and whorish behavior, and spending your money on a woman with hopes to have sex with her are all sexually emotional decisions. A great deal of what college boys participate in during spring break are sexually emotional decisions. Men who make sexually emotional decisions have a higher risk of contracting an STD, having their children aborted, experiencing baby mama drama, experiencing child support issues, having an unhappy marriage, not accomplishing their dreams and aspirations, experiencing prolonged poverty, and participating in domestic violence. Making rational decisions, brothers, is what's going to help you become a winner. Therefore, avoid placing sexual gratification above your own well-being. Number three, men are losers because they focus upon their enemies rather than their own flaws. They talk and focus more about the bad things people are doing to them rather than their own flaws and what they can do better. Some African-American men focus more on the racism that white people do rather than focusing upon what they can do better as a man. So you asking me what the problem is? I'm gonna tell you what the problem is. The problem is the white man, he keeps holding us down. 
The problem is the black woman. Now you ask me what the problem is, and uh, I'm going to tell you what the problem is. We got three problems here in America. Number one, we got way too many black people who don't want to pull themselves up by their own bootstraps. And number two is we got way too many Mexicans crossing the border. And number three is we got a black man in the White House. White men like me, we just not ready for that kind of stuff. The problem is the feminist movement and this crazy government that supports these hateful women. The way I see it, women serve no purpose. You see, focusing upon the wrong of others does not make you a better person, nor does it perfect you in your areas of imperfection. You must perfect your game. Focus on what you can do better to offset or minimize the pain that your enemies are causing you. Do not get mad, brothers. Do not get even. Just do better yourself. The biggest room in the world is the room of improvement. Become addicted to constant and never-ending self-improvement. Beat your own record, brothers, because success is a fight between you and yourself. Number four, men are losers because they hang around other male losers. Your relationships can negatively impact your accomplishments. Being in the company of losers is a sure way to kill whatever dreams that you may have. Losers will not motivate you, they will not challenge you, they will not correct you, they will not hold you accountable, nor will they help you. Losers will feed off of you, take from you, borrow from you, and never give back. If you want to win, brothers, you must change your circle of friends. You must surround yourself with winners. You must be in the company of people who are already winning in the areas of life you want to win in. Winners will not make you comfortable. They will hate to see you lose. Therefore, they will pull you and motivate you to win in various areas of your life. You must find these people, brothers, be in their company and learn from them. Number five, men are losers because they do not have a righteous code of conduct. More and more men believe in moral relativism. They do not believe there is a right and wrong. In their mind, there is no absolute truth. Because of this, they are liable to do all types of stupid and harmful things. The Bible provides a well-rounded code of conduct, such as do not lie, steal, covet, murder, or commit adultery. Honor your parents, love your neighbor as yourself, forgive others, show mercy, and obey Jehovah God. These commandments and many others have stood the test of time, and they are the foundational ingredients to winning in life. Men who ignore righteous codes of conduct will lose in various areas of their life. In fact, I would argue that all of the social issues that we see today are a result of men ignoring the righteous code of conduct as laid out in the scriptures. Number six, men are losers because they are too passive. These types of men do not stand their ground. They do not speak up for themselves. They look to others to make decisions instead of taking the initiative. They do not handle confrontation well. When they say no, they do not say it out loud. They go to one church while their wife goes to another church. They are too weak to say how much it bothers them. The children run over them and the wife ignores their rules without any consequences. He is way too weak. John, really? Come on, we're not gonna do this right now. Nobody got time for that, okay? She's just showing a little bit of leg. What is the sin in that? Shamika, go ahead. Have a good time. We'll see you later. <laughs> you
You cannot properly lead, brothers, if you are too passive. Therefore, you must learn to show up, stand up, speak up, and man up. Number seven, men are losers because they lack education. Men lack education in their understanding of manhood. Men lack education in their understanding of women. Men lack education in areas of science and technology. And as a result, they are not able to compete in the workplace. Men lack education concerning the laws of the land. And because they do not understand the laws, they are not able to properly defend themselves in situations like divorce, child support, alimony support, domestic violence charges, and rape charges. Men lack education concerning fatherhood and patriarchy, and as a result, their children are not properly loved and nurtured. If our brothers want to win, then it is important that they educate themselves. We must join together and provide training for men who need it. Men must take advantage of GED programs, continuing education programs, trade schools, college, church programs, self-help study guides, and tutors. My brothers, you may be a loser in some areas of your life today, but you do not have to remain one. There are simple steps that you can take now towards winning. So look around, brothers. Take an inventory of where you are and make a commitment to no longer make excuses. Focus on yourself more than your enemies. Begin to submit to proper authority because prosperity is connected to proper submission. And remember, a man must learn how to lead, but he also must learn how to follow. Until we meet again, may Jehovah God strengthen you with boldness, wisdom, and faith. Peace.